hey, ah. welcome back to the second episode of the all new Top Model Challenge. So, uh, it's still the same day it was when we did the black and white shoot. But, you know, we can do three shoots a day, so I think we've got time for one more. Why not kick things off with a keg, it seems. <laughs> I leave you guys to your own devices for five minutes and you take yourselves to the kegs, honestly. No, no, we're going to do a photo shoot. Let's uh, kick things off with a themed photo shoot. No need to waste any time, let's just get straight into it. And for this one, we are going to go back to the oh, lot yeah, I yeah. built with the four like trailer sets. That's where we're going to go. Oh yeah! Check out the attitude on those poses. Okay, so this is the set that we are working with today. It's very retro. I'm going to try and go with the theme of like a 50s style housewife sort of look. But like a saucy housewife, you know, like they had in the old calendars. So that's what we're going to go for. So I think we need to get her changed into something a bit more in theme. There we go. Okay, that was the most 1950s themed outfit I could find. I'm kind of thinking I probably should have got some more CC, uh, but never mind, never mind. Let's just get you on set, shall we? All right, looking good, looking good. Fitting right into place. Let's get some poses then. Remember, this is the 1950s themed shoot, so don't be afraid to pick up a mop. Oh, there isn't even a camera on there. Okay, you're going to have to add your average camera then, and we'll get her to pose. Oh. <laughs> Perhaps not the best spot for her to pose, but we'll see what we can take with it. <laughs> I mean, that's all right, isn't it, for a first try, for a first shot? Oh yeah, let's go for a warm filter. Oh yeah, that is classy. I think that pose works all right, actually. I don't know where I come up with these ideas. Oh, that's a good one. Come take a photo. Come take a photo. I like that. You know, you could see that in a magazine, couldn't you? Yeah. See that? You could see that on Cosmo. Very nice. Even with the warm filter, you know, it just works. It just does. If this isn't art, I don't know what is. And one for myself. So I can do my little... Uh, collage you know when I'm taking the pictures and then I just say art oh so classy so classy oh yeah if that's not a cover girl I don't know what is get the whole kitchen in there really make her look like a Barbie doll perfect well should we call that one a wrap I think I think so have you got any poses left oh I think she's got one more okay all right, you saucy thing. We'll take that one last picture and then we're done. Stop going to the fridge. Honestly, the brother, man. The brother is a pain in the, in the ass, Ruining everything. I really like this set. I, I don't even care if I'm saying so myself. It just reminds me of like a Barbie dollhouse. And I'm all about that aesthetic. All about the Barbie dollhouse look. Yeah. These will look nice on the wall. Maybe our parents can hang them up. All right, that's enough hard work. Come on, kids. You can do something fun now. Right, let's go home. Actually, first off, I'm going to change her into her normal attire. All right, let's go home. Come on. Bye-bye, 50s kitchen. What are you doing over there? Oh, she's just browsing the web. Well, I don't blame you. We can all be a bit curious sometimes. Okay, so I'm thinking I want to try and get them to make some friends because they've only recently What's moved that? here and I think it'd be a good idea to have like a little housewarming party, you know? And I wonder when the um, flea market is going to be in town because this apartment is pretty bare. They could probably do with buying a few things. Is there a way I can check... Maybe I need to buy one of those, like, apartment signs that tell me what's going on. Oh, also, do you know what I've forgotten again? I've forgotten to bloody pay her. There you go. Good job. Well done. I mean, this, this challenge and this job is quite lucrative if you remember to pay your sims. 
Fuck it, I'm just gonna stick one of those festival signs there. Read the sign. Find out what... When the flea market's in town. Because we need to go shopping. Oh, okay. Well, nothing, apparently. Apparently nothing is going on. Now, I have a feeling that that is bollocks. I mean, if I'm honest, that sign didn't really tell me anything. I think flea markets are on Sundays... What if we read this sign? Come and read this sign. The festival of snow. We don't want the festival of snow. We want the flea market. We want to buy some stuff. Well, it looks like someone's holding an art gallery, so that's something. Maybe we should have an art gallery. I wonder if... If I just send her to an apartment block. Like, maybe if she goes to visit Bella Dolphin, she can just read the sign in the lobby where it says when the next market is. Because you don't really get that luxury with penthouses, you know? People think it's all glitz and glamour, but there are downsides. Turns out in The Sims 4, it's the poor people that have it made. Yeah, who'd have thought? On the bright side, Bella might give us some tips. Oh, oh, here we are. Is it worth... Was it worth the loading screen? I don't know if that's really going to tell me anything. Oh, fuck, we've come to a... Apartment with no information on festivals. What the hell is going on? Jeez, that's one absolute joke. Wait, which one's Bella's place? Knock on door. Oh, fuck's sake. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> now I have to sit through even more loading screens. Sims 4, I am sick of your shit. Oh, she's invited us in. Oh yeah, there she is. She just kind of blends into the background. You can go and attempt an introduction with Bella. I'm sure she'll be nice. Hey Bella, we just came to get some tips on how to rock the camera. What do you think? And we're making friends. We could invite Bella to our housewarming party. She'd love that. Don't introduce yourself like that. Oh man, that was so awkward. Is she even going to talk to us anymore? That didn't go so well. You should wait before trying again. No, no. We're going to at least try and be, you know, liked. There we go. How much money do you make? <laughs> yeah, go and ask her that. So, Bella, you're bringing home a pretty penny? Oh, so embarrassing. Should have known better. Oh, come on, Bella. Let's just discuss interests. We just need to make a friend, right? We did have a friend and then he shagged our brother. And she's broken out in spots. I'm, I'm not having that. I can't do that. You're going to need to become acne free because, you know, you're living the model's life. You don't have the luxury of being able to break out in spots. So, Bella, do you want to become best friends? Okay, I think we're about as friendly as we can be with Bella right now. We didn't get what we came for, which was to find out when the fucking flea market is. But we made a friend. And that's the main thing, you know. That's the whole point of life, isn't it? Have an adventure and meet some good friends along the way. So let's get out of here and I guess just dick about, you know? In fact, what season are we in? Summer? Oh, it's the last day of summer as well. So we should probably try and do a seasoned themed shoot. Although I'm thinking we're going to miss it now because it'll be tomorrow, which will be daytime. Is it too late to do a summer themed shoot at night time? I'm thinking probably it is. You know, summer themed shoot should probably be done in the daytime. But tomorrow it will still be quite summery, so I'm going to do it anyway. I don't give a fuck. Some more friends we could make. Uh, introduce yourself to Angela. Be nice. I'm not going to introduce myself to her because to leave the house like that with your hair coming out of your fucking hat is, is not the kind of friend I need in my life right now. Oh man, we are making so many friends. Okay, well we've got enough friends. I'm thinking maybe we should just have our housewarming party tonight. I mean, who cares if we're a little bit hungover for our shoot tomorrow? I don't care, do you? Okay, what kind of stuff we're going to need? Well, we've got the keg. Uh, we've got a stereo. We've got games. Do we have a bar? Do we really want to spend our hard-earned money on a bar, though? I'm thinking not. Nah, fuck it. Let's just throw an event now. Let's have a house warming. Or flat warming. 
Oh, you know what we should have got? Fucking karaoke machine. Oh, we could call it a keg party and then it'd be fine. So Cherry and Jeremy can host. And then we'll have Bella, some of our new friends. Sean, obviously. We won't invite the family, that'd be too embarrassing. Okay. And we'll have it at our house, yeah. Right, let's get this bad boy on. What should we listen to, guys? What about Electronica? Why have you... Why have you got changed in one of your set costumes? You look like an idiot. Just wear your normal clothes. You don't have to be so extra. Yeah. Who do you think you are? Well, let's kick things off. Go and tap the juice keg. Let's get some people over. Why has no one showed up? Why do we only have two guests? Where is everyone? <laughs> okay, try again. Try again. You can do it. You just got to believe in yourself. If Dirk can do it, you can do it. Yeah, she did it. Okay. Now do a keg stand. Do it with a... Do it with a boy and then maybe we can get a little bit little bit flirty, shall we? Are we doing this keg stand or not? Are you gonna pussy out of it, Cherry? No, oh, she's pussying out of it. Oh well, just go and get a cup. Come on guys, we've got an entire keg to finish. Get involved. Oh, you're sitting on the insta sofa. Fair enough. Okay, we're halfway through the party and we we've barely got anywhere. <laughs> so let's um let's go and tell some stories. Maybe we'll get somewhere with this guy. I mean she's already drunk. Man, you are a cheap date. Okay, well fuck it. Fuck it. Rather than put the effort into building a relationship with this guy. We have had a few drinks, and for one night, we're going to be easier than the hookers on GTA. So let's just woohoo this boy. You know, get it out the way. I don't actually know where they're going to go, though, because they can't seem to manage the stairs. <laughs> so I think this party is going to end up being a bit of a flop, to be honest. Let's see if Jeremy can save the day. Hey, Jeremy, how about you do a keg stand, mate? Do a keg stand. These parties, these events are not long enough to be able to achieve this goal, I don't think. And they just flat out refuse to do keg stands, you know? They just won't do them. It just makes life difficult for everyone. Oh, the party's nearly over. They're going to get a shit score. This was a waste of time. <gasps> Finally! Okay, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, bitch, please! That was embarrassing. Keg party unsuccessful. <laughs> well, it's only because you're so unruly. You didn't even get your end away. Didn't even get lucky that night. Oh, I'm sorry, Cherry. On the bright side, you did manage to just teleport in half a second, so it sounds like you're gifted enough. You having a good night? Yeah? It looks like you're having a good night. <laughs> You need to clean that up. You need to clean it up. You, you're you not going to walk away and leave that toilet like that. Not in this house. Flat. Yeah, that's right. You clean it up, you sick, disgusting pig. All right, it's 3.30. Go home, everyone. Go home. It's time to end this party now. We've got a long day in the morning. And, you know, we could really do with everyone just fucking off. Turn this off. We need to be prepared for our summer shoot in autumn. <laughs> I've broken my own rules in only episode two. Well, rules are meant to be broken. That's the whole point of having rules. Get some sleep and sober up. What's wrong? You've got a bit of a headache now. I mean, you did bring that on yourself, didn't you? Because, you know, you, you did the keg stand. I mean, I know I encouraged you, but you, you are a grown woman. It was your choice. Can't put that on me. Okay, well, I think it's time to head to the next location. Do you still have the camera on you? Please don't tell me you left it at the set. Please don't tell me you left it at the set. Oh, fuck, he left it at the fucking set. So now I have to buy him a new one. Oh, hey, hey, Bella, you still here? Okay. Okay, well, I guess, I mean, we're going to head out now, so...
You can just hang around if you want, I guess. Actually, I'm going to wait till I get there because I might have already bought a camera and then I'll be annoyed at myself for spending money when I don't need to. So, let's go to the next location, ready for the next shoot. Okay, I've built an incredibly basic set. <laughs> because I couldn't think of anything else that would be summery, so... I'm sure it'll look alright. I'm sure it will. And it's raining as well. Brilliant, brilliant. And I did not buy a camera, so... That's great. That's great. Didn't even buy a camera stand. Well done, Carla. Great forward thinking, you dick. Oh, isn't that great? Look, I've... Oh, I didn't even spend any money! Oh. Oh. Well, okay. Right, let's give you more of a summary makeover, and you need to chill the fuck out with this hangover. I know it's tough, but that's the life you chose. Okay, we have gone a little bit out there with this look, but I think it works. I think it works. So let's just get you in position. <laughs> She's thinking about going to the doctor. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake, don't be such a wuss. Maybe we'll use some filters just to brighten it up a little bit. And let's get some poses in, shall we? All right, let's see your first pose. Stop moaning. Okay, that's a good one. That's very summer vibes. Jeremy, get over here. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. We'll take one like that and then we'll do a long, wa a long ways one. Just to really capture the sunflowers. And maybe we'll chuck in a cheeky filter. See, you wouldn't even know that it's a rainy day right now. Alright, let's see the next pose. Uh, I think I've done that one before. Come on, camera boy. That is such an insta shot. Yeah. That is classy as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> How many times am I going to say it's classy? It's not classy. It's not classy at all. But this one... This one is so cute. How adorable is that picture? Hey, this is turning into another successful photo shoot. Well, this one he can't really take because it's from a uh, bird's eye view. But I'm going to take one. All right, let's take a look at the shot so far. Well, that's enough of that. Let's go home. And I will pay you. There you go. Good job. Good job. Oh, the flea market is in town, finally! Let's go! I knew this would happen. What brilliant timing. Right, let's get you changed first into your normal clothes. Well, that didn't fucking work, did it? <laughs> let's get you changed into your normal clothes. Okay, okay, finally. Took you a little while, but we got there in the end, didn't we? Alright, let's go to the flea market. Let's get some... Some new furniture. What do we got over here? Some lamps. Okay. All right. A few chairs over here. Where is the merchant? Let's buy that chair. Oh, there's a stand over here. Is this your stand? Huh? Yeah, he's the owner of the stand. All right. We'll take a look. We'll take a look. We bought the chair. Have a look. How did you get all this stuff? You some kind of wizard? I will look upon your treasures, wizard. I will look upon them. Let's buy one of them. Uh, how about the little frog kid? Let's buy the, the frog kid. I mean, we could do with, um, with a new lamp. We could take a look at the lamps. There's only two to choose from. This one's quite nice. How much is that? 1,000? Oh, no, that's, that's too expensive. It's too spets. We want something that's chub. Oh, there's some more lamps over here. Maybe we can find one that's chub. What about this one? $49. What a... 49 simoleons even. What a bargain. And we can get this one if it's not too spets. Oh, this one's nice and chub. Okay. So many lamps. So many lamps. Oh, my God. And what have we got over here? More lamps. 112 simoleons for one lamp. No, that's two spets. Shopping on the cheap side over here. Oh, sorry, chup. We want something that's chup. How are you drunk already? Oh, no, she's just dazed. Okay. 
All right. You're crying. What is going on with you? I mean, for goodness sake, pull yourself together. Embarrassing. Embarrassed for you. Like secondhand embarrassment. Jesus. Oh, we could um, we could throw a coin in for luck. I it. Wish for something. What did you wish for? Wish for a boyfriend? You want a nice little boyfriend? The kind of person you can trust and love? An intimate relationship? Establish a deep emotional and sexual connection? Get so close that maybe you even need a safe word? <laughs> I honestly don't know where that came from. <laughs> Obviously have that on the mind. In all honesty though, if I were in the type of relationship that would require a safe word, I feel like I would definitely choose, like, something to do with food. Because whenever I have to think of a word anyway, it's usually food. And maybe, like, an emotion. Like, our safe word would be something like, happy sandwich. Oh, wait, actually, no. <laughs> that sounds like it could be a t misconstrued as a separate act <laughs> of the same nature. I don't really know what kind of act that would be, but it does sound like it, doesn't it? Should we go home and have a happy sandwich? Oh, uh, I need to calm down. You right there? You just living your best life? Oh, she's so happy. Oh, I give my sims a good life. I'm so childish laughing about that. I don't think I'll ever grow out of it, though. Like... So my my job, my real life job, <laughs> involves a lot of meetings, very pointless meetings, meetings about meetings most of the time, um, but a lot of it sometimes involves uh, recalls, you know, when a company fucks up and they have to recall something. <laughs> so like once a month I attend this meeting that's all about recalls and recall campaigns and often the word penetration gets brought up a lot. Because of my childish sense of humour, I can't really talk about that without getting a stupid grin across my face. And my boss, my boss is like, oh, for God's sake, Carla, grow up. I can't help it. I can't be in an office with people who are dressed very f business formally and have the word penetration thrown around without cracking up. It's too much to ask. It's just too much to ask. Right, is it time for another photo shoot? You've got your spending crave out the way. Come on, let's go somewhere. You've had enough downtime. It's time to travel. Off we go. That's enough bargain hunting. It was fun, wasn't it? We love a good bargain. But alas, it is time for the last shoot of the day. And we're gonna go back to our set. And we're gonna do another themed shoot, I think. Meh. Another themed shoot. Going all out with these themes. Right, did I make you any clothes that could work with this, I wonder? Nude? Ooh! Well, that could work. Yes. That's going to work very well. The colourful tutu pop vibes. Okay, so the theme this time is going to be like a candy land sort of themes. See, built this little set here. I know. Where do I come up with this stuff? I've got no idea. All right, let's get some poses ready for you. I'm a bit worried about that backdrop though, because I think it might be a bit too bright. Should I maybe move? I mean, do I need all these lights? I think maybe they're just making it a bit too bright to the point where you can't really see. Okay, so if I move that, it makes it a bit darker. And if I put that there, I mean, it's still quite bright. Oh, it's still quite bright, but you can you can at least sort of see what's going on, I guess. All right, let's get some poses for you. I'm actually running out of poses that I can use. I think I'm going to have to download some more. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to use this pack. I mean, it's not the poses aren't quite as loud as what I was hoping for, but is what it is. All right, Jeremy, get over here. Did I not add a camera? Oh, that's okay. There's a camera on one of the other stands, so I'll just pinch that one. 
Right, come on then, Mr. Photographer. And I think when they get home, I'm going to hang some of their pictures up because I haven't really done anything with them. So we'll hang them up on the wall, you know? Make her look like a very vain sim. Mm, I mean, that's kind of cute, I guess. I don't know, I'm a bit disappointed with this one. I just don't think it's worked out as well as what I kind of hoped it would. You know what I mean? I feel like it could look... Could look better. Oh, it looks much better with that filter on, I guess. Yeah. That's all right. I feel like it looks better when I take them, you know? No offense, Jeremy, but I think I'm a better photographer than you. Again, I think it looks better from afar. But I just want to have a look at that face. Yeah, I feel like maybe the camera's just not in the right place for this one, you know? But you know what? You can't always have a perfect shoot. Sometimes it's not going to work out. And we just have to accept that. That one's okay. Whole outfit look, yeah. Oh, yeah, that is classy. All right, you know what? That's all I have the energy for. I'm not really feeling this shoot. I don't think it went as well as it could have gone. But uh, here are some of the snaps, some of the best bits. Brilliant. Brilliant. All right, guys, let's go home, hang some of these pictures up, and then I think I'm going to end this episode here. I mean, not right here, but in a sec. Okay, uh, this wall is pretty bare, so I think this would be a good one. Let's just stick them all up and then decide which ones we want to keep. There's so many. Oh, I forgot I took them various sizes. It's going to be difficult to decide. Oh, shit, Sam, there really are so many. Right, I'm going to get all these out and then put them in some kind of order. I'll show you it w once it's done. <laughs> okay, well, this is our vanity wall. <laughs> I'm going to try and narrow down uh, each shoot to just one photo. So we're going to take one uh, picture per shoot to put on here. And our wall here is basically going to be like a little portfolio, you know? So that when we have people come round, they can, you know, look at all of the pictures we have of ourselves. <laughs> So yeah, there we go. I'm going to end this episode here. So I will. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like the video if you want. Subscribe if you want. I didn't fucking pay her again, did I? For fuck's sake, I'm going to need to like remember this. Ka-ching. There we go. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.